Right out, ladies and gentlemen, the Alan Hall Memorial for 2023. Rival Johnny Backer. Reckless with Tate Ramsey. And Brenton Walsh in the cabs. This is going to be an absolute smackdown. The two blown boats. Both of them super quick. Both of these guys compete in the blown boat championship and are both front runners. Brent Walsh, the least experienced of the three with the least horsepower. He'll probably just try and keep his nose clean in this one, I'd suggest. White flags up. Keep an eye on this one, folks. This is going to go off. Backer and Ramsey. Brad jumps are racing. Both the boats get on it and blast away down the front straight away. Ramsey gets a little bit loose as he has to come out of it. Backer turns him in hard. He'll try and hold him tighter if he can. Down through turn number one. Ramsey gets a good run of pole there. Backer on the outside. This is an absolute grudge match now. They fire down the back, shoot again. Have a look at the face of Ramsey now. Great Ramsey, been absolutely unbeatable all season. Backer comes back hard at him down into the turn in the big 21 footer. Great Ramsey trying to get the ball out. Gets a power now, Ramsey can't go with him. Johnny Backer on the rail with his arrival, pushing very hard down into turn number two. Yellow flag on, Backer has a hook. Ramsey has to avoid. Another little bit of a hook there now as Ramsey trying to make up ground here. Backer's trying to get the power now, boat leaps out of the water. Johnny Backer is charging hard down the back shoot now. Rival Marine. Ramsey coming hard at him. Backer tries to get it turned in. He throws it back up on its side again. It's going to be a drag to the line. Ramsey can see an opening, but Johnny Backer takes the win. the line and that is as good as you'll see sorry Brenton but we were watching the blind boats but a good third place for Brenton Walsh there in Lee Kavanagh's camps and Johnny Backer ladies and gentlemen gets over the man that has won everything all year great effort from him he'll be happy with that one and so he should be and all the locals will go off. Johnny Backer out of Terrelgan wins the Allen Hoare for 2023. After a treacherous day. Backer shows that on any given day they are one of the absolute top quality blown alcohol boats here in this country. Give it up for Johnny Backer ladies and gentlemen as he goes over. I think he's going to collect a checkered flag. Please put your hands together for Tate Ramsey. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. The reckless. As Tate Ramsey brings it in. Couldn't quite get it done on the day, but uh, he has been an absolute sensation all season. And anyone can get in over the top of this guy at the moment. He's had a good day, I'd have to say. Put your hands together too, young Brenton Walsh. He's been a sensation today as well. 
He's absolutely had a red hot go in this Cavs boat. Six litre machine, still learning the boat, still developing the boat and still learning his driving style as well. A great effort there from Brenton Walsh. He is a name to watch in the future, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to assure you of that one. Fantastic, Ellen Hall Memorial Race for 2023. Massive shout out to all our wonderful sponsors whilst we're here. Mafra Community Sports Club, along with Precision Lock and Key. I'd also like to thank the Hayfield Pizza and Takeaway, along with T&D Jet Ski. Ericsson Marine have been a great supporter of this event for many years, along with Spuds Mowing, Digging and More. Hidden Automotive and Marine, along with Vern Graham's Mitre 10. Gippsland Composites, Bairnsdale Auto Barn and Boom Logistics. A big shout out to all of those businesses. And I saw Maxi Curtis floating around there from Bairnsdale Auto Barn. Lucas Tree Services and TTMI Traders. Big shout out to them. And Going to grab Paul Cunningham. Don't think you can just come in the commentary box and nick off on me, son. Paul Cunningham not only drives the uh, 86 Melton Toyota very, very well, and is also an EC Griffith Cup winner, uh, but he's also my co-commentator sometimes. Hello, PC. G'day, Richard, mate. How are you? I'm perfect, mate. I've been watching you go around today. You had a bit of a wild ride out there, son. Yeah, well, a bit wild, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh Put the flame out and uh, knocked the Welsh plug out at the same time. Did a bit of damage to the cow, so it was a fairly good, um, fairly big hole I hit. And uh, I think uh, poor old Oscar hit the same hole, and he's got a massive hole in his sponsor, but he could actually keep going for the four laps of thanks to Grant with a fairly big hole in it. So um, yeah, he's done well, but um, we'll just go back and uh, have a quick look over it and see what's uh, ready for another four weeks' time. I think we're back. Well, mate, uh, yeah, absolutely. We are here on the uh, second and third, I think, of uh, no uh, December. So. Uh, everybody get back but uh mate um to be fair mate you run those boats around a lot and you rarely have a problem so uh i guess today was a bit of a shock when it threw its uh port sponsor right up in the air like that yeah it's pretty rough like i don't know if it's the worst conditions of the day for us but yeah it looked all right but going down the first corner and didn't really back off because grant was on the outside i don't want to beat him as uh, you do on the inside so uh Came a red hot go and uh, unfortunately, yeah, just it, it's uh, had a massive almost barrel roll and lucky it didn't uh, go all the way over. But uh, happy days, we're good and we're dry and <laughs> we're going to have a beer tonight. Well, mate, young Oscar was having a dip as well, buddy. And, and I actually thought that he was avoiding you when he came to a stop, but he obviously hit a big hole as well. He's, he's saying he's got damage too. Yeah, he did. He's in the same corner as I did. So, yeah, um, yeah I think it's just a bit, a bit rogue at that moment in time, but we're all having a go. Oscar's uh, coming on real fast there. You know, from the first heat this morning, he was uh, nipping at our heels all, all morning, and in between the two of us, having a good old, uh, good old run with us. So, you know, he's done a fair bit of work to his boat, and uh, yeah, congratulations, Johnny Backer and Ryan. Well, it was a good run, wasn't it? <laughs> Thanks, mate. I can tell you're a commentator. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, for Johnny Backer, out of Taralga, and rival Marine wins the Allen Hoare for 2023. Well done, mate. That's a bit of a treacherous day for him today, PC. Mate, what a first corner. I thought I was a bit loose. <laughs> he was much looser than we were. But, uh, no, good to see. Nothing wrong with it. Um, good for the boat to be back. And uh, that was a great run against uh, Tate and Reckless because, uh, yeah, he's awesome. He's had a great year. Yeah, he has had a great year, mate. It was really exciting to see those guys go out. And I think Johnny proving that, uh, you know, on any given day, he's one of the fastest blown boats in the country. Yeah, he sure is, mate. And, uh, yeah, locals um, putting their time and everything down here and putting on a good show, so it's been good. And uh, unfortunately, weather's been a bit off this weekend, but still, the club's done a great job to get as many races in as they have. Absolutely, mate. Uh, I'll let you go, PC. You're probably headed home now, mate, but uh, always good to see you, my friend. I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. A couple of weeks, Big Show. Thanks, mate, and uh, keep commentating. Doing a great job. Thanks, PC. Paul Cunningham, ladies and gentlemen, driver of the Melton Motor Group 86 Hydroplane. And as I said, my uh, co-